some point. But ZD starting off with the Fox. Um, as far as I know, this is his usual starter against uh, AOS. I don't know how often he goes Wolf against AOS, but um, this is definitely, uh, again, you want speed. You want to be able to, to rush down AO, uh, AOS a little bit and keep him from doing some of the get out of jail free options that he has for like flip kick and such. Yeah, and Fox, you know, one of the not one of those characters that is easily comboed by a character like ZSS. You know, just right. the, that fast fall it right. does help him a lot from escaping a lot of uh, those uh, yeah. ladder combos that ZSS Ooh. wants. But it doesn't even matter because the strong start coming out from ZD only eight percent tacked on. Yeah. Now, now uh, AOS looking like he's got to do something here. Of course, like. ZD knows his his uh, his distance. He's able to get back from that. Not worried in the slightest. And AOS, again, like he's just letting ZD inch closer once he gets back on stage, losing the stage control steadily, um, and that's a huge issue because ZD with stage control is the scariest thing you'll ever see. Mm -hmm. And now, I mean, AOS coming off of a really hot start. Uh on Friday to, in the right. grind, you know, getting true. second place, you know, plays really well. So Tilde was the only thing that really came in his way, but he played phenomenally. Right now, I mean, he's in a top eight qualifier right now against ZD. Right. Still looking real solid, but ZD off to a strong start. And I know ZD is out with a vengeance after, yeah. you know, that fourth place performance from right. last night. And one thing that AOS has got to learn to do, and it looks like he's learned how to do it so far, is fight spaces. Mm -hmm. You know, if we are going to have the Tilde invasion, you got to be able to handle a character that deals uh, with offstage situations, much like that one. Yeah. And now, AOS, one of those players that loves to swing. You yes. know, if he sees the opportunity, like, he's swinging oh, yeah. at anything and everything. Oh, yeah. So ZD just trying to look for that opportune time to strike. You know, he's right. been able to find it for the most part. But now, AOS seems to be st showing some, you know, showing some conversions going in his favor. Yeah, so basically what um, AOS needs to do, I mean, he basically he's kind of forcing these options where he has to use his drift effectively because ZD is kind of planting his feet or just jumping. Um, in this case, AOS is more Ooh. likely to just get hit by those. I guess when he's jumping around, but at the same time, it is it is more important for him to know his approach angles um, and just make sure he's not whipping the big moves, right? Like whipping a grab is huge. Whipping any kind of smash attack is dangerous. You don't want to do any of that because ZD will be on you like a hawk. Oh my gosh. Let's go. A little bit of melee to show for us. Go yeah. Getting the, sh the shine the to go to be the... The ender right there. Yeah. Wow. Not only getting that drag down, but that shine really just said, yeah, you're, you're not coming back to stage. I don't know oh, yeah. where in that position that he used his jump, but so, that was it. Yep. All it, That's all it took. You know, Zach Darby uh, with the plays for days. So let's go. I, I love to see it. ZD, you know, he never leaves out the style in his gameplay. Mm -hmm. You know, there's always like, okay, yeah, that's clean, that's clean, that's clean, blah, 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 yeah, okay, this is good Fox stuff. And then, like, all of a sudden you see something like that, you're like, oh, okay, now, <laughs> now that's the kind of stuff, that's like the cherry on top, like, yeah, that's, that's the stuff I like, that's the, that's the good stuff. That's the extra, that's the extra clip in the reel, like, oh, yeah, that's nice. All right, so we're going right back to it, though. Uh, ZD versus AOS. We're sticking it to a small battlefield stage, so uh, I think in this situation, um, I know ZSS is good on this oh stage, but gosh. ZD, again, like, what stage is he bad on? ZD never will let you take him there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ZD just leaving right where he left off from that game one, looking really explosive to start off, 50% right off the back, yeah. looking real good. And once again, I mean, AOS, somebody who likes to swing, but he... Yeah. He, you know, he likes to swing smash attacks as well. We, we're not seeing much of that, but he has to be very careful the way he goes about it because Fox, the moment that he's able to rush in your face, you know you're going to be taking a good amount of damage. Right. So far, AOS's spacing has been a lot better, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's definitely, like, making it so he's he's going for this down smash, but he's not so close where it actually hits your shield so it doesn't put you into hit stun. Right. But it also is not punishable, right, because then you're just far enough away that you can get away from whatever ZD's got coming out out of shield. So it, it's really smart. I think the AOS is already exhibiting some, some improvements. Um, so this could be a, a tighter game. Yeah, seeing a lot of short hops coming out from AOS. Just barely escaping right there as he, you know, I, I want to see a little bit more Zares coming out from AOS. You know, he, it's going yeah. to be a difference maker. You want to space out your moves a lot more. You want to play it safely and find there the opportunity go. to strike. He oh. had a chance for the back air, but okay, still extending wait. his lead a little bit further as yep. he gets the nice, up punish. Nice, but the kick doesn't snap to ledge. That's a really nice, reliable punish. Mm -hmm. And AOS didn't really have to break the bank for that. That was kind of uh, less risky. He's like, okay, well, I might get hit by this, but I can tech it. I know how to deal with that. So it, there are certain situations, and there was really only outcome, uh, only one outcome for him at that point. So yeah, Fox not having, you know, Fox having one of the more Ooh. obvious recoveries in the game, but also catching him slipping with yeah. that forward smash. You're hesitant too, too long on ledge, man, dude. You got to be careful. You know, watch your head. 
All right, but yeah, you can see, like, yeah, now ZD is literally just waiting for AOS to kind of, like, mash in the corner and then come mm -hmm. back. <laughs> this is just like, yeah. he'll just, like, he'll stand there and shield and just, like, oh, wait, okay, okay, <laughs> you're going to play the game? Look up. <laughs> uh, and all right, ZD capitalizing on everything he can right now, expecting that roll in. Something I noticed from MDBA in general, and I've pointed out to a few people, and they agree yeah. with me. Everybody here loves to roll in. Like, okay. No, I yeah, like that, that you prefaced it with like, don't worry, everyone agrees with me. I do like but that. No, I do like worry, that. Don't worry, if I say that and uh, there's somebody in chat that disagrees, true, I'm gonna so say true. no, no, no. This so like, true, bestie. But no, I, I definitely people. agree. I definitely agree. Like, yeah, we definitely roll in a lot. Like for sure, it's it's a weakness. But what's, hey, you know, sometimes it is our strength when people don't expect it. What's my source, bro? Trust me. That's <laughs> <laughs> my, my source, bro. Trust me. Let's go. All right, yo, uh, you're dead. So let's go. Boost kick is going to take stock two. Uh, ZD now in a deficit. So we've got to figure out whether AOS can clutch this game out and actually complete the transition to a game three or if ZD is ready to cut his time short with a reversal. Mm -hmm. Nah, I mean, definitely a player like ZD is somebody who's capable of making these comebacks, but right now he's been getting, you know, He's been getting outranged. He's been getting grabbed a little bit more, and it seems like AOS is starting to get a lot more interactions going in his favor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. But then again, Ooh, ZD no. is so fast, and he's so like knowledgeable about when you are not able to press a button. Like he says, "Okay, you're in in lag. I'm going for it." Or, "Okay, you are acting that shield, and you can't. You're not fast enough. I'm going for it." Mm -hmm. So it's just his knowledge of uh, his speed and the lack of speed from his opponents. Yeah, and I like the pressure he's putting. You know, just maintaining all that neutral stage. You know, getting center stage as much as possible, and just putting AOS at the corner. But it seems like he's hasn't been able to find the right timing to get the punish. Ooh, you punish. see the backer come he's out. Tech it though. Oh no, he, oh, he, he's he tech it. So yeah, that that's that was almost a that was oh, that was almost AOS dying there for mm -hmm. a second. So that was like a, a big issue. AOS has to be very secure about those kills, and that's where uh, another one of those are reversed up because that would have been more uh, reliable, right? Oh, Max Rage, that yep. side B comes through for AOS, and we are going through right. a game three. Right. I mean, definitely a very change nice. of pace. Yeah, a change very of pace nice. coming from AOS, and he seems to be connecting a little bit more here yep. and there, and. It was really that, you know, that first stock that really set the pacing of the match as well. No, you know, I, going for that up B off stage, yeah. yeah. He has to get those call outs yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, I think that that's, again, like it, it paid off really well for him in game one. Um, it can pay off in certain situations. Like I mentioned, the one in the last game, like he could be going for that uh, more consistently. Mm -hmm. And I think, I, I feel like it's it's safer. I feel like it's safer than what he, whatever he was doing there because going for a back air, like it's just not as, um, I think the timing is, is harder. Right. Right. So, we'll see what happens. Um, we're going with the most anticlimactic music counterpick you can go for. Um, so we're going with uh, the same characters. No wolf coming out at all. It's sticking with the fox for all three games. Small battlefield get again, so it's running right back. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually a lot more surprised because you know ZD had the counterpick. He had his idea to go to, to probably a flat stage, you know, in a uh, town and city, but he opted to go back to the stage where ZD he does that a lot. Actually, yeah. he just kind of built different. He just kind of goes back to the stage where he's like, "Yeah, I lost on the stage. What of it?" <laughs> yeah, that could be uh that could come back and haunt him. But right now, good. a good start right now, getting 39% off the back and understanding against ZSS, you just got to do one thing: hold that L button, hold that shield button, whatever your shield button may be, true, true, and you true. know, just capitalize off that. Yeah, but you don't want to be, you don't want to be holding another kind of L. Like, you definitely do not want to be doing that. So, in this case, uh, I hope that you have the shield oh, that no. can get you past situations like that. Right now, uh, ZD offstage, this is, again, that's the thing. Like, AOS, the reversed up beat would yep. worked. Yeah, and, you know, ZD not opting to go straight for the ledge. You know, he wanted to touch the stage a little bit from the ground right. and then go for it. You know, he dragged AOS a little bit with him, put him try sure. to put him in a, a tech situation. Or because yeah. tech situation, yeah. yeah. So, you know, it goes to show, you know, he understood that as that upbeat takes a stop, the boost kick will come through. Yeah, but eventually, stuff. what I wanted to say about that was he knew that AOS would opt to go down, drop down, and go for the upbeat. Mm -hmm. So he didn't want to go straight to the ledge because he knew he would get caught. So if he goes yeah. a little bit, if he angles it a little bit more down, yeah. he's more uh, susceptible to catching AOS before he gets that upbeat. Yeah, totally. And ZD is like, he's always doing that, right? He's always angling in um, mm -hmm. just to make it harder, right? Like delaying the time that he yeah. actually snaps to ledge, um, just giving him a mix-up opportunity. And this time, catching the up smash, no mix-up necessary. Uh, ZD only with 35%-ish um, and getting a nice parry here, but still, he got to make sure he doesn't get uh, caught in some combos here. AOS is looking like he really wants to get some strings here. 
Yeah, I mean, against a character like Fox, you have to be really careful the way you go about it because you oh. are in for a ride as well. And now ZD, in a blink of an eye, literally just took the lead in terms of percentages, exactly. but still pretty even. Exactly. Like, literally, in, in situations like that, it is so tough. But oh, no. AOS Ooh, almost okay. gets something here, forces the high illusion. Now can't get the flip kick, and he dies for it. That is the worst timeline to live in. The oh, attempt. No was respectable, but at what cost does it come? It may have costed you the yeah, set unless, you know, unless, unless you build something out of here. Okay. That, is not, that is a stock. That is a stock. Uh, and now ZD has to take a little bit of a reset, knows that he can clutch it out, but he has to make sure he does not throw at this time. All right, and that that deep breath that he took definitely coming in clutch right now. 86% just playing it patiently, gets oh, a drag down, and you great. saw the roll in, but he didn't he's get crazy. it this time. He knew he expected AOS to play so perfectly that he would roll in on tech landing, but uh, it does not happen. Oh, he still finds the pinpoint precision uh, that is necessary to catch the up smash on AOS to take it in game three in a last stock situation. Um, obviously good stuff to ZD, but AOS was playing pretty, pretty well well on yeah, that last situation. Like, that last game, I thought it was looking like ZD was starting to uh, to lose a little bit of steam. No steam loss whatsoever. Yeah, like I mentioned before, against ZSS, you just gotta hold that shield button. Eventually, you'll be able to get that uh, strike that you need, and holding the shield button, the jab one, two, and then instantly yep. reacting with the up smash to get that final stock. Absolutely. Pays dividends to ZD, and ZD looking look, look a little bit, you know, it was worrisome yeah, at the beginning, like, but yeah, he was, came back yeah, hard. That's true. I mean, and that's the thing. I think I think AOS is like okay. He's he's a less consistent player than ZD, but mm -hmm. that's no that's no shade to AOS. Yeah.